Hi friend, I'm Crispy Hansen, and this is To Catch a Philly Fiddler. In this episode, we're going to look at a man who is no doubt going to stand the test of time as one of the worst predators this fandom has ever seen. Meet 34-year-old Graham Kelly. He lives in the county of Kildare in Ireland. He's an epic gamer, a fucking sick dancer, and a fucking sick individual. From enjoying Falcon, the pony version of Lollicon, to spamming miners on Twitter to befriend him, to letting his dog die a slow, painful death instead of euthanizing him, to actually trying to get into a relationship with a miner, among many other things, this man is sick, disturbed, and I believe to be a genuinely dangerous individual. Graham has gone by many handles on Twitter over the years. His current one at time of recording is Gamer underscore Graham, but he's gone by some absolute bangers in the last few years, such as at I Love Cartoons 32, at GK Irish 2020, at Irish Brony Kelly, and at Irish Brony 25. On his various accounts over the years, he's made his interests very, very clear public knowledge. He's heavily into ABDL, adult baby diaper loving or something like that. He's in this very fandom of bronies, but his interests aren't from a genuine place of mental therapeutic well-being. Rather, they're from a disgusting, sick, disturbed purpose. Graham likes kids, and everything involving kids. Toddlers to teenagers, human to furry, his love for kids stops at no bounds. He retweets and replies to flat-out cub pornography, expressing his adoration for the abhorrent genre very openly. He tweets directly at people and often spams them to totally irrelevant original tweets with uh, a notes app message, him shirtless, uh, gifts you see from your grandma on Facebook, or just begging them to speak with him. Now these behaviors alone aren't entirely illegal, surprisingly. What is illegal is trying to get into relationships with a minor. Graham has attempted to groom minors on several occasions, the most damning of which took place in, I believe, late 2019, in which the conversation goes as follows. Hey. Hi, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay at the moment. I'm just going to do a gaming video on my gaming channel at the moment on YouTube. Oh, cool. What game are you playing? I'm going to be playing Dream Daddy on my gaming channel on YouTube. Oh, I never heard of that game. Tell me a little about yourself. Okay, my name is uh, Graham Kelly. I'm Irish. I'm from Ireland. I'm uh, 30 and I'm single. I still live with my family because I don't, I don't have the money to move on on my own. And I've got two brothers and one sister and I've got special needs and I'm a slow learner and I'm an office assistant for a company called Murphy Surveys and I'm a, a YouTuber and a gaming YouTuber and that's all you need to really know about me, you know, love. Oh, that's cool. I'm a bit weird because my name isn't Gabriel. I'm actually a girl from a small town called in Kildare. My name is and I don't want to put it on my Twitter account because I'm afraid I'll get bullied for liking MLP. I'm from Sun Crawford. I, I just go to the special needs center in Kildare every day. Monday, Thursday, and Friday. And usually just go to the, to the cinema in Newbridge every Friday. Oh, I think I know where that is. Maybe I'll see you in Newbridge sometime. <laughs> You know what? You would find me a white water to the cinema and sex. Maybe I could bring it to the cinema, like LOL. Aw, oh, I'd like to. I never go to the cinema much. <laughs> but the only thing is, I'm 16, soon to be 17, so I'm worried that might be a problem. Wow, I, 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 I'm on the edge. I, I'm a really nice person when you meet me in person, but you know, if you don't mind my age, then, then fine, yeah. So me being 16 is going to be a problem? No, no, I don't mind that you're 16 at all. Okay, yay, that's good. So, you excited for Xmas? Yeah, I'm just going to be watching some uh, movies on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I'm just, I'm just checking here to see, do you really think that I'm being creepy or a pervert? If I, and if I am, I'll, I'll just leave it alone and stop it. No, I don't think so. I just don't want to be forced into anything. Okay, then just try to be as friendly as I can be. It's just I haven't done anything with anyone yet. I know, here. Come, come, come here and check out my YouTube channel. It's called Graham Kelly. And my, uh, my gaming channel on YouTube is called Gaming with Graham. Okay, I'll have a look now. I like it. I'm going to look at the Walking Dead videos later because I love that game. Can I ask you, since we both want somebody for Christmas, do you think maybe we could do a thing someday? I don't know at the moment, but once I get to know you a lot better, maybe we could become boyfriend and girlfriend. Do you think we could? You know, it's just all my friends have done things and I want to see what it's all about. You know what, maybe once I get to know you a little better, maybe we could do might, might do that probably. 
He also admitted to having a attraction towards kids and teenagers on this group chat here. He directly states he's into weird fuck shit and he enjoys posting said weird fuck shit. Now you're probably trying to give Graham the benefit of the doubt. You know, you're probably thinking, well, this guy is clearly very neurodivergent. He might not know what he's doing is wrong, but I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but no, in that same group chat, he just openly knows and confirms that he knows what he's doing is really fucking wrong. But he just continues fucking doing it. As recently as four weeks ago, he responded to this image uh, saying, This is so cute, love heart eyes, love heart eyes. It's a drawing of a clearly underaged fox boy with his cock and balls just... Whoop! Standing out! Since then, he's eased up a slight amount on the completely explicit artwork, but he still replies to obvious diaper fetish porn involving actual underage characters. Now, you would hope it stops at fictional humans and animals, but... No. In a Discord server Graham owned, he posted actual, literal child pornography. I clearly have censored these to a point where you can't make out what the fuck they are, but the fact is I had to look at these. Sure, we've pre-added censoring, but I'm still probably on a watch list for having to download these images to show to you. I'm saving you with that fate. In a snippet from this stream here, he openly admits to at one point having child pornography on his phone, which he just said he deleted. The other child pornography uh, fucking pictures that I have on my phone I've already deleted. I mean, sure, he deleted it, but the point stands that he had it at one point, which means he liked it enough to fucking save it. Whether or not he owns it now is completely irrelevant once you know that fact. Now, to move away from actual CP, let's uh, continue on with this uh, Falcon stuff, which as I mentioned earlier, is basically the pony version of lolly pornography. It is one of the, if not the most, abhorrent, disgusting genres of Art. I don't even think it's art. I think it's just fucking disgusting. Graham doesn't think that though. He he loves this shit. He loves this shit more than he loves fucking shitty diapers. Graham admitted in a Facebook post that he has a server for MLP Philly porn and that he knows a lot of people don't like it, but he does. Therefore, uh, thereby proving even more that he knows what he likes is wrong and frowned upon by every reasonable human being on the planet. In a Discord server, he also said that half of bronies don't like MLP Philly porn, and the other half do. Which... No! I've been in this fandom since I was 10 years old. It was 2011, I remember it vividly. I've been in this fandom since the very fucking beginning. If I had to put your estimate into an actual guesstimation that has more value, I would say 80% think it's disgusting, legally and morally abhorrent, and 20% are scum of the earth pedophiles who will at some point move on to real children because eventually cartoon horses won't be enough for them. He's tweeted Falcon over the years so many times. Uh, he had, and maybe privately still has, a fixation on the Cutie Mark Crusaders characters in which are guesstimated to be between 7 and 14 years old. He loves the humanized and anthro style specifically, which is just more evidence that he likes human kids. Speaking of kids, this melting boulder has a fucking nephew. Poor child. In this video here, Graham says that, quote, if he was a pedophile, he would have defiled his toddler nephew by now. If I was a pedophile, I would have, I would have literally had sex with my nephew by now. Which, as a sentence alone, is jarring to hear. It was jarring for me to put that into the script. It was fucking jarring for me to quote it. But he says it like it's just an everyday fucking sentence he says. But Graham, you don't have to physically harm a child to be a pedophile. Dictionary.com fucking defines a pedophile as an adult who is sexually attracted toward children. You don't need to commit a physical act of molestation to be a pedophile. You just need to be attracted to them, which as you've shown in all the things you've posted and the things you've fucking said is the case. Whether you like it or not, Graham, you are a dictionary textbook version of a pedophile. Fuck's sake, you go live a lot and somehow the topic always relays back to kids. Speaking of streaming, Graham is an epic gamer and what do epic gamers do? They stream. Graham had a live stream in I believe late 2020 where he just explicitly thinks out loud and wonders if Bart Simpson, a canonic 10-year-old, knows about the world of sex yet. 
Like, I'm looking at The Simpsons right now. So I am. I'm watching, like, all these episodes of The Simpsons. I'm thinking to myself, like, how fun it is that Bart, that Bart Simpson is having all this great time at being 10 years old. And that he has a younger sister. Like, I can understand that then the show The Simpsons, Bart, um, Bart Simpson, um, doesn't, um, hasn't learned about the world of, um, sex yet. He doesn't understand what girls have between their legs yet. Saying that, at his age, his hormones should be going wild. I'm just thinking to myself, like, Bart is at, is 10 years old. He should be, like, his hormones, basically, should be going completely wild. In this same stream, he complains that he isn't able to talk to a child. He specifies an eight-year-old, which is oddly specific, stating that people would call him a pervert or a pedophile. Down my age, when people literally um, see me, they're like, oh, Graham's a 33-year-old man. He shouldn't be talking to eight-year-old kids. He shouldn't be talking to 10-year-old kids at his age. Like, he's a pervert. He's a creep. Pedophile for talking to these freaking type of people. But would you blame me? Like, like, I do miss my childhood. He then tries to link that with the more innocent sort of excuse of, I miss my childhood. Mate, you miss being a kid. You want to relive the memories? Do what I do. Sit down on the couch, get a glass of whiskey and watch The Wiggles or some shit, dude. Don't try and talk to literal children. Don't get involved in pedophilic fetishes. Don't try and hide your sexual tendencies toward literal children behind a moronic excuse of sentimentality. Now this next topic is quite different and it relates to abuse of household pets, but I'm assuming if you've watched it this far, you might be able to handle it. But I'm just saying, just in case, if you don't want to hear about Graham's abuse towards his dogs, Whoa. In I believe it was uh, 2020, Graham spoke to somebody in a group chat revealing that the dogs in his household were not wanted by him or his father. In fact, his father is reported to kick the dog sometimes, at one point breaking one of the dog's legs. In this situation in particular, however, one of the dogs was injured so gravely that the poor good boy had to die a slow, agonizing death in the filthy hallway of the Kelly household. Graham claims they didn't have the financial stability to take the dog to the vet for euthanization, which is a crock of utter garbage. Graham owns a PlayStation 5, a console worth 760 euros at CEX, a second-hand tech store. But knowing Graham, he probably bought it full price retail value, brand new. If you can afford a PS5, Graham, you can afford putting your dog down to give it the death and the grace it deserves. To step away from his abuse of dogs, we have to move back to weird shit with kids, but this time away from Twitter and uh, toward his personal Facebook page. His Facebook is just, I'm scrolling through it now and it's a lot. Also, fun fact, he fucking knows about me, lol. But on the more serious bits, he loves to spread his diaper loving ways in full view of his family and friends. He also loves posting the more safe type of folk on Facebook. Here's a, uh, a post from May last year, Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo just lesbianing up, you know, canonical children making out. Sure, Graham, nothing sexual about that. You just like the art. Some people out there would think that that is um, consider me being a, a pedo or a pervert of either MLP, like pictures of the characters in MLP in diapers or little kids in diapers, but I... For me, I, I just enjoy the art. In his Facebook, Graham also admitted to having a crush on Arthur character DW, a canonic preschooler. He once had a Facebook for furry diaper porn. He asked an artist in the comment if they could draw him as a child committing a sexual act on another child. He posted this oddly sexual image of Loud House characters, I believe. When Boss Baby 2 was about to launch on home media, Graham posted about his elation and his excitement. He posted this collage of images involving anime characters aged down in diapers. He also made this weird comparison, asking why Rugrats was okay to watch, but the stuff he posts isn't. Graham, how do you not see the irrelevant 
if, if there was a Venn diagram of your fucking, like, if there was a Venn diagram of this shit, they'd be two separate circles on different pages. Also, I know this isn't on Facebook, but in this leaked DM conversation here, Graham admits to enjoying Lolly and Shotokan. When any backlash is thrown at Graham, he squirms in his dirty diaper and deflects by saying, Oh, people think I'm a danger to kids because I own underage images. Because people think that uh, I'm a danger to kids. Just because I like underage pictures. Oh, pity me. Have mercy. Nobody's ever come from my side of the story. No one ever asks from my side of the story. They always believe Kwai Farms. Or sometimes he just flat out lies through the teeth he brushes at max once a week. Like I've not done anything wrong. I haven't... I haven't posted any pornographic images on my Twitter. I haven't posted any Im any freaking diaper porn or any of that shit on my Twitter. So I'm sick and tired of being called a pervert. Now, if, and I mean big if, me simply seeing and downloading all of this evidence to tell you about has probably put me on a government watch list. What the fuck do the Kildare Police Department think about Graham? I'll give you five seconds. Answer, nothing. They don't give a shit. Good job, Irish law enforcement. If Graham's local PD did, did fucking nothing about him after like three reports over the course of a few years, let's make sure they fucking do something. Let's get hundreds of reports on this guy in a span of the coming few weeks and fucking pray to God that they fucking do something this time around. In the description, I've put a link to the Kildare PD Anonymous tip site. We, if we report this fucker en masse to them, in the span of, again, the next few weeks, I'm fucking hoping they'll do the smallest amount of police work, at minimum, get this guy on a misdemeanor, at maximum, fucking put him on trial or get him a psychologist. Maybe they'll stop sitting on their ass drinking Guinness and watching Take Me Out. But maybe that's just wishful thinking. I am... Oh, fuck me, this man. This man. Why did I have to, like, fucking put episode two as the one with, like, the worst predator we've seen?